Namaste everyone, myself Dr. Vinay Kumar. I am a BNYS graduate and pursuing my MD in clinical yoga. So recently uh, I received a lot of queries regarding uh, uh, the best colleges for pursuing BNYS as well as what are the opportunities after BNYS, whether it is a good course to choose and whether we have a future in this course. So in this video we will be uh, going through what is, what is BNYS. Firstly, we will be looking into what is BNYS and which are the top colleges that is providing uh, uh, best education in this field and what are the opportunities you will get in the future. What is BNYS? BNYS is a Bachelor's of Naturopathy and Yogic Science uh, which comes under Ayush, comes under a Ministry of Ayush and it's a five and a half years course where you will be learning various subjects related to medical science as well as core subjects of naturopathy and yoga. So uh, what are the criteria for admissions? How the students can get into this course? So the main query was whether the NEET is required, whether NEET eligibility is uh, uh, compulsory for this course, whether CET eligibility is required for this course. So the thing is you can apply uh, for time being the rules have been slightly loosened and uh, the need is not at all compulsory for uh, admissions in BNYS that that's uh, five and a half years medical course and uh, you will be provided education uh, for five and a half years and you will be getting a registration certificate from uh, registered board of states saying you are a doctor in this profession so in five and a half years course uh, you will be learning various subjects of medical system like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, microbiology and etc. And along with that you will be learning um, course subjects like uh, uh, of naturopathy and yoga, yoga philosophy and yoga clinical yogic subjects. Along with that you will be learning uh, acupuncture, massage therapy and you will be learning hydrotherapy and many more. Interesting topics in uh, BNYS course and if you are really interested in a drugless system and if you want to follow a drugless system in future you can opt this course without any hesitation. So uh, other queries were uh, asking whether there are best uh, colleges in Karnataka. So there are around 12 to 13 colleges nowadays and uh, few colleges are new to the stream and few colleges are old. There are 2-3 colleges which provide uh, two to four colleges which provide education from long duration of time. So I have uh, shared a, a video of best colleges um, in the Karnataka and you can opt any of the colleges and if you want to know the fees, fee structure of different colleges have been also attached in the uh, description. You can go through the fee structures of different colleges and uh, if you want if you have any queries regarding admissions and if you have any queries regarding the course you can contact me via whatsapp and uh, you can ask any doubts uh, regarding your admissions so apart from this uh, the major queries whether do we have a future in this course of course the future of uh, all the courses are based on your skills and your quality of education and whatever things you learn in five and a half years after come out as a graduate you should be able to treat a patient uh, with your systems uh, core uh, and you have to impl implement your uh, way of treating everything uh, after you become a graduate so there is a lot of opportunity you can start your own clinic setup uh, later on if you have a plan to uh, build a hospital you can do it later on and if you want to work in uh, wellness sectors you have the option of uh, choosing any, any wellness sectors uh, there are a lot of uh, wellness sectors nowadays coming up because uh, it shows that uh, importance of natural health and uh, wellness of a human being is more important so similarly there are a lot of colleges coming so if you want to become an academician like if you want to be a lecturer or assistant professor or associate professor in future you can opt this course and uh, you can work as a, a lecturer or professor in different colleges if you want to pursue masters in uh, any of the subjects like presently masters in clinical yoga, natu naturopathy, nutrition and acupuncture are provided in India and uh, you can uh, do those such courses along with that during the course period you can learn more about research. Research is one of the important aspect in uh, BNYS field because it's still developing uh, field so there is a lot of scope 
for research aspects so you can go to go go through different courses of research provided from different institutions and you can also be a research uh, fellow in different institutions so these are the opportunities so i have uh, attached the link below uh, where um, you will be getting a uh, a gross idea about what are the uh, scope of BNYS uh, in future so you can go through it and if you have any queries you can put a message via whatsapp to me and I will help you with that so there are a lot of things in this video I have covered it's a five and a half years course and it's a drugless therapy system it comes under ministry of Ayush and uh, NEET is not at all compulsory for management quota seats uh, there is a different fee structure and for government seats the Karnataka had to start the CET counseling once it starts if you have if you are having a very good uh, ranking in your CET then you can apply for a CET counseling and there are around 60 government seats in Karnataka at Mysore government uh, college and uh, if you are uh, lucky enough you will be getting the seats in government college and you will be also provided with stipends during your internship period so this is all about BNYS uh, so I'm winding up this video and uh, thank you for watching the video if you like the video you can uh, share uh, uh, with the enthusiasts of BNYS and uh, those who want to learn a uh, drugless system then you can share with them and you can uh, bring awareness about BNYS in the society as well. Thank you.